Hello guys, I'm John Mustafa, and today I'm going to be doing a case study on anxiety, depressive, bipolar, and various personality disorders. This case study is going to be from uh, a book uh, called A Little Life, and uh, it's going to be based off uh, the character, the protagonist, and uh, this character's name is Jude. So the book is um, by Hanya Yangihara, I can't really pronounce her last name. But the character's name is Jude, and the story particularly revolves around him. And as you see, here's a picture of the cover. I think I really recommend this book, and I think you should read it. It has a lot of life lessons. Anyway, let's get on with the general plot of the book. So, this novel follows the lives of four friends in uh, New York City from college through to, uh, through to middle age. It focuses particularly on Jude. A lawyer with a mysterious past, ambiguous ethnicity, and unexplained health issues. Jude walks with a limp and suffers from severe nerve damage in his spine. That causes him great pain, in which we discover that the damage to his legs was caused by a man called Dr. Taylor, who picked Jude up and held him captive while he cured him of venereal disease, assaulted him, and eventually ran him over with his car. I know, this plot sounds awful, and this book was really heartbreaking. Let's complete on with the plot. At 30, Jude gets adopted by his former professor, Harold, which causes him to self-harm because he believes he is unworthy of affection. Jude used to live in a monastery where he was sexually assaulted by the brothers and was forced into child prostitution. Due to multiple uh, reasons, Jude attempts to take his own life and is unwilling to confess anything about his past. The only person he confessed to was Andy, Jude's doctor. After a lot of self-harm and multiple suicide attempts, Jude is threatened by Andy that if he didn't tell Willem, Jude's closest friend, and Harold about his past life, Andy will. Jude ends up telling Willem and Harold about the years of sexual and physical abuse he endured. They are horrified, but then they settle in a comfortable life until one day Willem dies in a car accident and Jude and, uh, ends up taking his life because he couldn't handle the pain of Willem being gone. This is... Uh, the plot of the story. It is very heartbreaking and sad. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at a video of uh, a trailer for the plot or like a, a, a video that well looks like, like uh, the plot of the video. <gasps> this video let's discuss the presented symptoms of the character that I picked which is Jude let's uh, see what symptoms he had and what kind of disorder does this symptoms relate to so Jude shows symptoms of PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder he experiences flashbacks of his trauma uh, a lot of tension, numbness of feelings, and he avoids any stimuli associated with the trauma or the sexual assault, i.e. he doesn't participate in, in romantic relationships. Another symptom that Jude's, uh, like another disorder that's, uh, that Jude shows symptoms of is major depressive disorder. He has a lot of in a loss of interest in most activities, significant weight loss, slowing down of emotional reactions, fatigue, feelings of worthlessness and unfound guilt, recurrent thoughts of death and suicide. Those are the symptoms he shows of major depression, depressive disorder. Now, uh, the last one is that he shows symptoms of borderline personality disorder. It's because he self-harms a lot and has a disturbed sense of self, instability of self, and chaotic personal relationships. We're not diagnosing him, but we're only saying that he shows symptoms of, the, of these disorders. But these are the 
only disorders that he shows symptoms of, or from what I picked up while reading the book. So how is Jude handle, uh, handled in the little life? How do other characters treat him? And what did he go through? So, the world treated Jude horribly and made him feel insignificant, but he managed to make friends that are loyal and loving toward him. Even though he refuses to say anything about his past, they are patient with him. They are furious when he self-harms because they care about him. They helped him when he attempted suicide, took care of him afterwards, and tried to prevent it from happening again. So, as you can see, Jude was very intelligent, and you know, the world treated him harshly, but as he grew up and uh, got to have relationships with other people, they really loved him for him, because he was a very caring person. And what was the resolution of Jude? How did he, how did, uh, he end up? What happened in the end? So Jude ended up comfortably living in an apartment with Willem till he was 50. He maintained a good relationship with his other friends and Harold, his father. He continued to self-harm, but in less amounts. He was simply happier than he ever was in his life. In the end, though, he committed suicide because of his best friend's death. Yes, it's a very tragic story. So... I analyzed Jude uh, from a psychoanalytic view, not biologic or anything, because the symptoms he showed can only be explained psychologically, because uh, uh, he experienced a major trauma in his life that affected his behavior, uh, and hence uh, showed uh, these symptoms, or his behavior that had, this, had these symptoms. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. I hope you got to know something new. And uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, like this video. Bye.